All right. He says, somebody say amen. amen. He says, if you have it and you don't do it, he says, that's not godly. If you have the resources to help somebody, if you have just bought your food and you can buy more food and you run into somebody without food, give that to them. Um, this is my lunch, but guess what? You can buy something else. They don't have that option. Take the bag and stick it out the window. Hey, people don't like to hear that, but that's the truth. And don't give people, you love people, don't give them something nasty that you wouldn't wear. And then brag about it. No, you give them something nice. Put it in the cleaners before you give it to them. You wouldn't wear it without putting it in the cleaners. So if you're going to really help somebody, clean it. And then don't go tell the whole church, see them, they got on my clothes now. Nah. You don't embarrass people. You don't help people embarrass them. Child, I paid their rent, and they, and they don't even speak to me today. You lost, you lost your reward. The moment you open your mouth and tell people what you did for somebody, because the Bible says it, and it is clear we've been taught at Greater Harvest all our lives, and those of you who are here tonight, when you do your arms in secret, God will reward you openly, and he will let the world know that you've done what you've done. Come on, saints, amen. But you don't embarrass nobody. Go tell the whole church, I, yeah, I took them shopping. No, don't embarrass nobody. Come on, saints. Amen. Go to Matthew 5. Go to Matthew 5. It's a learning way, you are. It's a lear loving people is a learning way. You have to, you have to.